hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm back with another show review and this is from queens episode two heart of queens so guys if y'all watch it please make sure you like comment subscribe turn your post notifications comment down below what was y'all thoughts have y'all seen the show do y'all plan on watching the show let me know in the comment section down below okay let's go so this basically continues off from episode one where they're getting ready to go on tour. Um, Little Muffin, she goes back into rehab, but she doesn't like the fact that she has to talk about her feelings, talk about how her life was before she got into the music industry. So, you know, she just got a little iffy was like, listen, I'm about to peace out and she leaves um let's see brianna her husband gets his surgery but she still kind of feel off about it too she don't think that he was really um he really got surgery and valeria she's kind of like he playing with you i don't think it's true and it's like Watch out for him. He's showing signs that, you know, he can help manip manipulate the situation using his his illness as an excuse for the things he's done or plan on doing. So eventually, I think he starts to get memory loss, and she's like, hmm. So she has a talk with Valeria, Brianna, and Brianna is, like, basically telling her, like, listen, you know, like I said, Watch out for him because you never know what his intentions truly are. Maybe he's just doing this so he can feel less guilty about what he done. And Brianna told him, she was like, listen, I'm only doing this so that you can get better. So, you know, I can dip out on you like you dipped out on me. Okay. But then she started seeing a side that like, hmm, maybe I'm doing it for all the wrong reasons. But, you know, it's still too early to say. Okay. Then we have Jill. Since coming out, she didn't realize that she would be the talk of the town. Her face was plastered into the newspaper. And then, like, everybody at her church was trying to show her for liking girls. You know, because in the Bible, they say that's a sin. That's an abomination. Because God didn't create Eve and Eve. He created Adam and Eve. So, it's like, that's looked down upon, frowned upon. And... Jill was not going for it. She started feeling discouraged. And she wanted to run away from her problems. Like, no, just own up and face it. You woman enough to come out. You woman enough to, you know, just see what it has to offer. You never know. Not everybody is preying on your downfall. Mm-hmm. And her girls, they got her back. They were like, listen. Especially little Muffin. She was like, listen. You got to you, you for, for you to come out, that's step one. Go back and, you know, face your fears and just, you know, stop trying to run from everything. You know, you can always go to a new church. But I guess that's her home, so she, you know, she sticks it out or whatever. Oh, uh, we have Naomi. Now, I don't know. I'm kind of up in the air on this. But some moments while watching it, it looks like Eric is the baby daddy. But then since Cam came back into the picture. So, supposedly this whole situation of why they fell out all happened from San Diego. And they go do flashback of what happened in San Diego. So, apparently, Valeria, she basically wasn't there to be in the group, in the group. She's basically using it as a business venture so she can help better herself and get herself ahead in the game. So, they do that. And supposedly, their contract was a faulty contract. And they all signed it without paying it any close attention. And they found out they was broke. And then, I guess since Naomi was feeling um, Eric at the time, when they was younger, she, she didn't like it. So, she was like, listen, I'm leaving the group. So, basically, come to my conclusion, it seems that Naomi doesn't like you know drama and all that stuff which is a good thing because no, doesn't nobody like drama um and she was like listen i'm leaving the group and everything just went left 
So now that they're back 20 years from now, it's like, okay, let's see if we can give it another shot and see if we can make it better than it was the first time. Yeah, it's crazy. It is crazy. Valeria, she's really basically on a business venture. She's not really, you know, got too many ties in the situation. Only about the fact that she's still messing with Eric from 20 years ago. Yeah. So, um, Naomi, she's um out on a lunch date with her daughter. And in comes Cam while she's there eating. Because um, Naomi just gave um her daughter Jojo a book. To, like, learn new music and stuff because she likes to play piano and stuff like that. So, in comes Cam. Like, listen, I have a business venture for you. Maybe you can see if, you know, you can land a deal and we can, you know, work on your career. And Naomi, she's, like, looking for the future. But she also worried about her girls, too. Because she's like, well, I don't want to do this. And then it falls through. And then I don't have my girls to fall back on either. So, it's just like a open-the-air situation. So, they're ordering their food. Her daughter orders her food because she got a salad. And Cam orders the same thing. And they ask for the same extra pickles. I'm like, oh. And Naomi made a face like, I hope he don't put two and two together and figure out that he, that's his daughter. I mean, it they kind of favor more. Like, their mannerisms were kind of like the same. And I was like, okay. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. They eventually, you know, get their act together. Um, Naomi, she goes to Cam's bosses for their meeting. And they were like, nah, that's not what you're looking for. And, you know, she didn't take it too well. So she left or whatever. Eventually, they all end up meeting up at Brianna's house. Even Eric, their manager, I guess. Yeah. And he told them, we got good news. We're about to go back on the show. Go on. We got a show. Y'all got to start getting ready for practice and everything. Um, long story short, they was able to, I guess, you know, come to terms of where they stand or whatever. Little Muffin got back into rehab. Um, Jill confronted everybody about why, um, confront everybody, like, what, what she likes, her preference, that shouldn't be anybody else's business but hers. Um, Valeria, no business move. Um, Brianna, she's focused on her family. And hopefully that everything goes well with that. Supposedly, Eric wanted to get back with Naomi. Naomi was like, are you still messing with Valeria? And eventually he said, yeah. And she was like, nah, I'm good. You can, you can have her or whatever. I ain't got time for this. So they all do their show, whatnot. And that was it. I can't wait to see episode three. More juiciness is coming to the plate. I can't wait to see this. Yes. Y'all have not checked out Queens. Y'all need to go check it out. Because it is definitely good. So far the first two episodes has been A1. And it's definitely given what it's supposed to be given. Okay. So anyway guys. I hope y'all enjoyed this reaction. And en whoa. enjoyed this show review. And let me know y'all thoughts of this show in the comments section. Like, have y'all watched episodes one and two or y'all just watched one? Do y'all plan on tuning in and so on and so on? So, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, please give it a like. Comment down below. Hit the subscribe button so that you can be notified every time I post. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!